He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. And I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. My God, in Him will I trust. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, Mighty. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord that He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust, and I will say of the Lord that He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. My God, in Him will I trust. My God, in Him will I trust. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is Reverend Dr. Stephen Jones, our Miracles Radio and Television Ministries. Coming your way all the way from Silver Spring, Maryland. Jesus loves you and we all love you. I'll be sharing with you today on the topic, God's Divine Protection. God is our Divine Protector. God is our Divine Protection. And I'm reading a text, Psalm 91, from verse 1 to the end. Psalm 91, from verse 1 to the end. That chapter has to do with a prayer of protection that Moses prayed over the people of Israel that he was leading from Egypt to the land of promise. Moses led more than 2 million Jews from Egyptian captivity to the land of promise and uh, it was not an easy task. They were going to come across dangers. They were going to come across attacks. They were going to come across all kinds of things and they needed a prayer of protection over their lives. And otherwise Psalm 91 is a prayer of protection for every Christian, every believer. God is our protection. In, every, in God we have everything. We have salvation. We have deliverance. We have healing. We have protection. You don't need to meet uh, a juju man to do protection for you. Some people tie juju on their waist, tie juju on their arm, tie juju on their car. That's not what you need. God himself is a protector. In Psalm 91, he says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. God is our refuge and strength. He shall give his angels charge over us. We shall not dash our foot against a stone. He says, The arrow that fly by day shall not reach us, neither shall the terror that move it by night. And then in verse 7, he says, A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand by thy right hand, but it shall not come near thy dwelling. When you read Psalm 91 today, I want you to claim it for yourself and your family because that is what God asked me to share with you. A time like this where the whole world is shaking, earthquakes here and there, terrorist acts, kidnappings, untimely deaths, 
sicknesses and diseases, terrible ones. All kinds of wars are going on. It's a dangerous time and uh, we need God's protection. God is our protection. God is your protection. That's not all. In First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 22, First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 22, it says, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm. God was saying in that scripture, it says, Touch not my anointed. The believer is God's anointed. The Christian is God's anointed. And God made a law, a rule. Touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm. We, the Christians of today, we are the Lord's anointed. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper, like it says in Isaiah 54 verse 19. No weapon formed against us shall prosper because we are God's anointed. And the devil cannot touch us, neither shall sickness nor disease touch us. By the power of God, God has given his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. We shall not dash our foot against a stone in the name of Jesus. Today I want you to claim Psalm 91 as your refuge as the word from God and I want you to use it in praying for yourself and your family and for your children for your husband for your wife for your relation for your business for God's divine protection to be upon you God is the only one who can protect you nobody can protect you you talk about security what security God is our security the scripture says he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all thy ways lest you dash your foot against the stone can you imagine when the angels of god are keeping you whether you are flying by air or by land by sea wherever you are the angels of god are keeping over you watching over you whether there are earthquakes whether there are wars whether there are disasters and all kinds of things going on the word of God says, touch not the lost anointed. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is our covering. The blood of Jesus is our seal. The blood of Jesus is our protection. In Exodus chapter 12, Exodus chapter 12 verse 12, it says the blood shall be a sign, a seal on you. The enemy shall come, they shall see the blood and pass over you. Hallelujah, that's wonderful. The blood of Jesus. Is the seal on the believer and because we have that seal on us our enemy shall see us and pass over us the devil the demon the evil spirits the witches and wizards the powers of darkness the forces of evil they shall see us and pass over us because we are the apples of God's eye the apples of God's eye that's who we are we are more than conquerors greater is he that is in us than the devil that's in the world and so the word of God says, fear not. 366 times the word fear not is mentioned in the scriptures. 366 times the word fear not is mentioned in the scriptures. In other words, when you wake up, the first, the first thing God tells you is fear not. Why fear not? Because God is with you. When God is with you, you fear not. No matter what happens, God is with us. That's what it's all about. In Psalm 34 verse 7, Psalm 34 verse 7, it says, The angel of God encamped around his people. The angel of God encamped around us, his people. And so we are not afraid of the terror by night or the arrow that flyeth by day, the pestilence that walketh in darkness, and all the evil things that move around. Look at Psalm 23 verse 4. Psalm 23 verse 4, it says, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Even if we walk through the, the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil, for God is with us. His rod and his staff, they comfort us. God is a wonderful God. Everything we need in life is in Him. And in the, the final uh, verses of Psalm 91, it says, With long life will He satisfy us. With long life will He satisfy me. With long life will He satisfy you. Your life is not in the hands of witches and wizards. Your lifespan is not in the hands of anybody. You have the right to live for 70 years and above. Of course, in Psalm 90 verse 10, Psalm 90 verse 10, it says, The number of your days shall be three score and ten. That's it. 
That means you can live for 70 years and above. You have the right as the child of God, the son or the daughter of Abraham, wash in the blood. You have accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. You have the right to live for over a hundred years. That's what the scripture says, Psalm 90 verse 10. And so don't allow the devil to play on you. Don't allow the devil to tell you all kind of stuff. Speak the word of God. With long life will he satisfy me. He will bless me with a new life. I shall live to declare the works of God. I shall not die untimely. The devil will die untimely. God has given me life. Jesus gave me life. And life more abundantly. That is the word of God. He has promised you long life and prosperity. Begin to claim it today. As you read Psalm 91 with your family, wherever you are in any part of the world, read Psalm 91 with your family and just claim what is there. It's the word of God for you. You need to have it in your spirit. Speak it out. Pray it and claim it. Claim the promises of God. They are yea and amen. God never fails. His word never fails. He has never failed before. And he can't fail now. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I pray for everyone who have heard this word. You be their protection, you be their protector, you be their guide, you be everything to them. In the name of Jesus, the arrow that fly by day shall not reach you, neither shall the terror that move by night. In the name of Jesus, God will give his angels charge over you to keep you in your ways. You shall not dash your foot against a stone. In Jesus' name, you are the Lord's anointed. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against you, judgment is condemned. In Jesus' name, the blood of Jesus is a seal upon your life and family. Your enemy shall see the blood and it shall pass over you. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I want you to forward this email, forward this message to all your friends and well wishers all over the world. Let them know that God is our protection. God is their protection. In times like this, when there are dangers here and there, God is our protection. God is your protection. As you walk around day and night, the angels of God are watching over you. And in Jesus' name, the blood of Jesus covers you and your family. In Jesus' name. Feel free to write us. Our Miracles Radio and Television Ministries, Post Office Box 281, Lanham, Maryland 20703. And you can email us, Our Miracles TV at Juno.com. Our Miracles TV at Juno.com. You can visit our website www.ourmiraclestv.net ourmiraclestv.net We also invite you to uh, watch it with us every Saturday 7 p.m. and then Sunday 3 p.m. at the Jesus Christ Global Mission 850 Sligo Avenue Suite LL1 Silver Spring, Maryland 20910 Welcome you to come and receive what God has for you you never be the same again. Men and women of God shall be ministering and sharing the word of God. I tell you, you will be blessed mightily in the name of Jesus. God is your protection. He's your protector. We love you. Felicia and I say, God bless you. Long life and prosperity to every one of you in the name of Jesus. God never fails. God never fails. He abides with me, gives me victory. For God never fails. Just be with Him day, morning, and night, and He will see you through. God never fails. God can never fail you. God has never failed you. He will never fail you. He is your protection, he is your guide. As you travel here and there, as you go here and there, the blood of Jesus covers you, your car, your vehicle, the planes in which you are flying. The terrorists can see you because the blood of Jesus covers you. All the earthquakes going around and all the disasters, the blood of Jesus has protected all of us from them. In Jesus' name, Amen. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 
He that dwelleth in the secret place 